anyway. But away to Panathinaikos of Greece and in front of 60,000 fans in Athens, Juventus went down to a goal by Dimitri Saravakos after six minutes. Well, it shouldn't be enough to prevent Juventus progressing further, but without any question, it was one of the goals of the night. Saravakos, who's 26 years of age, 32 caps for his country, and really catching hold of that to give Panathinaikos a shock 1-0 win over Juventus. But the second leg, of course... Uh... Well, Stukashev nearly got away then. And now it's Amarilia giving chase. And Amarilia has taken advantage of a terrible error between Skiljarov, the sweeper, and Prudnikov. Raul Amarilia. Who came here from Zaragoza. Not really at the wishes of Terry Venables. 1-0, 10 minutes gone. And Borodiuk has had his damage repaired, and the top scorer is back into the fray. Karatayev to take the corner. And the goalkeeper hesitated, and that was a chance for Timoshenko. And a little indication there, perhaps, of why Barcelona have had a poor start to the season. A free header went away. Dynamo Moscow could still be relegated this season. They're in the bottom reaches of the Soviet Supreme League. But they've made quite a relaxed start here. And this is Stukashov going on. And it's a second opportunity that's been wasted by the Russians. The run was probing, but really shouldn't have unsettled a defence as easily as it did. Schuster now beginning to get something of a grip on proceedings. Victor. Roberto battling on. And Timoshenko brought him down. Pretty straightforward decision for Beck Thomas to give, the referee who took charge of England-Turkey a week ago. Now, Schuster scored from a similar position against Sabatel in the Spanish League on Sunday. He's done it again! Well, not the most popular player, I don't think in the Barcelona dressing room for his attitude off the field, but his talent overrides that, really. And that was a masterful free kick. And the goal coming right on the half hour. Barcelona 2, Dynamo Moscow 0. So different from the first round when Barcelona won 2-0 in the home leg against the Portuguese side Belenenses when their two goals came in the last three minutes. A much more productive first half. And Schuster has been the architect. Lineker couldn't turn, the goalkeeper did well. And the header looped wide from Amarilla. A useful throw from Prudnikov, one of the players who survived from the 85 side that reached the semi-finals of the Cup Winners' Cup, a play pulled back by referee Thomas for a Barcelona free kick. Now Bert Schuster walked out. Barcelona right from the moment he was substituted in the 86 European Cup final and only returned at the start of this season and Lineker it didn't fall for him again retrieved here by Amarilia and he used his strength to keep the impetus going here's Schuster
Karatayev turning inside Urbano. And it's Timoshenko who's made a useful run. Borodio couldn't control his shot. And it was put over in the end by Vasiliev. But Barcelona are in a position here where they cannot relax. In fact, Borodio got ahead of the ball. And when it came to Vasiliev, it was just too high. Lineker, Amarilla's in the middle, and the pass released early. Amarilla! Well, it really should have been number three. And whistles and jeers around Nukamp for the failure there of Amarilla. Dobrovolsky came on as a substitute against England in Tbilisi before the 1986 World Cup finals. He's tried to orchestrate things in midfield for Dynamo Moscow, but he's rather lost out to Schuster. Julio Alberto once again with a sense of adventure, and Schuster, having hit the target, quite entitled to try again from distance. Barcelona don't risk conceding an away goal in this position. They really, in the second half, haven't shown a great deal of ambition to add to those two goals in the opening half hour. But Lineker might get one at last here. Krivnikov blocked bravely. And Gary Lineker still has to wait for his first European goal. Edward Malafia leading forward been urging his players on. The whole complexion could change if they were able to take one of the half chances that they've been creating. Urbano, who really shouldn't have been playing in this match, he got two yellow cards in the second leg in Portugal of the first round. Then the referee, after the game, realising a mistake, allocated one of those yellow cards to Moritalia, who is subsequently out of this game through no fault of his own. Here is Urbano, who should have been sent off in the away leg against Belenenses. And that's a mistake by Salva, who tries to play too often from the back. That's been Terry Venable's belief about his reserve centre-back, who's on for the second half for Michele. And just in time, Zubi Zareta is there at the feet of Kolyanov. Losef. There's still disenchantment in the stadium. Demidov. Karatayev. And Gulanov trying to go down the outside. Caldere in between playing football. Ramon Caldere, the number 15, has actually had a hair transplant. I think that's the first case I can remember at this level of the game of a player trying to repair a ball patch in such a way. Doesn't look overly successful. Dobrovolsky with the corner. Away by Zubi Zareta. Demidov. Another scare for Barcelona. Subi Zareta, not happy, and understandably so. The defending in front of him has lacked concentration. <laughs> 2 nil on paper is a good result, but it's not secured yet. And it really hasn't been an emphatic performance. Karatayev for Dynamo. Played wide by Silkin. Parodiuk has definitely been below par since that early injury. In from Bulanov. And it might yet fall here for Kolyanov. Tidied up by Roberto with Schuster's help. 
And here's Calderon. Lineker setting off on a run, trying to change what's been another night of frustration, really, for him around goal. Urbano. Well, you can hear what the home support, which is not here tonight in great numbers, thinks of the way Barcelona have finished the game. A minute left on my watch. Alessanko. Amarilla's goal seems a long time back now, and it looked to set Barcelona on a path towards a victory of some standard. The official attendance, just 22,000. Really a reflection on the poor start to the season. And Barcelona, post Venables, haven't taken a turn for the better. Although this will, as I say on paper, go down as a useful result. Unless Dynamo can snatch something right at the last. They've got a corner conceded by Julio Alberto. Referee Bet Thomas has already looked once at his watch and looks again. Dobrovolsky to take the corner. One last test of Barcelona's concentration, which has wavered at times. But there is the final whistle. It's a 2-0 win here through goals from Amarilla after 10 minutes. And the second, the most memorable moment of the night from Ben Schuster's free kick after half an hour. But the worries for Gary Lineker remain. He's not getting the service in Spain that he's getting with England. And he comes off looking disenchanted. A final score, Barcelona 2, Dynamo Moscow 0.